Texas Rangers trying to win one at home. Welcome to Major League Baseball. Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Clark. 2K Sports right here on this Friday afternoon. These Nationals fans filing in to see their Washington team in action today. Here's a glance at Texas's starter. Steve, as he gets going against these uh, Seattle bats, what's his concern? Well, this is a lineup that at times does struggle to score runs, but this is a pitcher, the right-hander on the mound, that they can have some, some success against. So it's going to be interesting to see if they're able to put the ball in play and take advantage of opportunities. Here's the offenses arranged by Eric Wedge. Uh, just a so-so lineup right here. They tend not to score a lot of runs, so they have to really take advantage of every opportunity they get. When they lose out on opportunity, they tend to lose out on games. Now their rookie center fielder. He'll be starting us off here. The first pitch coming right up. Number 12. Here it comes. Ground ball up the middle. Number three. That's our first out in the ball game. Now we'll take a quick look at the Rangers, see where they are positionally. A defense has been a problem for this club. And when you take a look at the number of errors they've committed, it's in the bottom five in the American League. They just have not been able to make the plays like other teams have to be able to get big outs. And we get Meyer batting. Well, about as lopsided a matchup as we've seen in recent years. In 2011, the Texas Rangers beat the Mariners 15 times. The most wins any team had against a single opponent in the Major League. Fastball misses away, 1-0. And Seattle's big problem uh, against left-handed pitching showed up mightily, John, especially in that series Steve was talking about against the Rangers. Uh, definitely did. I mean, Texas outstanding lefty trio, Derek Holland, C.J. Wilson, and Matt Harrison gave the right Mariners one. nightmares. Those three combined for 10 wins versus Seattle. One one on the way. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. Slider swung out and missed. Two down. Oh, Gary, that's a great pitch right there. Great command and control. Hitting his spot down and in it makes it real tough on the hip. At the plate, their rookie first baseman. Strike first one. pitch to him, a curveball. Swung on and missed 0-1. Now, if I'm batting right here, I know the pitcher's tendencies. In the scouting report, I'm looking for a fastball in the 0-1 count. On the way. Straight fastball two. swung on. Can't make contact. And behind on the count on two. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Here's the pitch. You're the out. slider swung on and missed. Struck it out. Side gone. And they're held in check here in this happening. Bottom half coming right up. Texas will back. Let's take a look at the starting pitcher for Seattle. Number seven, Steve, he faces this Texas lineup today. What's his focus? Well, this is some kind of lineup he's facing in this one. And this oh. left-hander is going to have to be on top of his game and really move his pitches around and use an assortment of pitches and really dazzle this lineup if he's going to have any luck against them. Here's the 1-0. Oh. That one goes foul. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. A chance to see that lineup. Let's take a look at the Rangers. You take a look at this lineup. These are guys that are in scoring position when they step the home plate because they can take the ball out of the ballpark and hit a bunch of home runs. We'll take a quick look at the Mariners and how they line up positionally. As you look at this club defensively, it's it's a team that struggles and ranked in the bottom five 
in the American League that really does impact their ability to win ball games. They just give the opposition too many extra base runners, too many extra bases, and too many extra outs. There he goes towards second. Hit in the air to left center. One away. Now this ball was headed to the gap. Right? The left fielder got a good jump on it. Able to run it down and make the play. In there, their first baseman. Well, the Mariners' performance on the road last year, dismal. They lost 13 in a row away from Safeco. In about the middle part of the season, it was part of a 17-game losing streak. One out man on first. He swings and nails a liner. And largely because of that losing streak you mentioned, it ended up being Seattle having the lowest winning percentage on the road in the AL state. You know, they've got a youth movement going on there, but they've got such good pitching, you just think sooner or later they've got to get some offense and support these arms. Here's a spin and a throw back to second. And he's back easily. Made a dive to get in. Here's the delivery. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. And he scores from second base. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. One scored and another runner on base. Well, you can feel the anticipation in the stands and the fans. And so they're all eyes on the mound right now. And he finds himself in an early pitching jam here, down by one, two, one. They have to limit the damage and they have a chance to be all right. They just have to settle down and make good pitches. Liner between first and second. The real pressure might be right now. That base hit loads up the bases. He's going to have to make a pitch to try to get out of this game. And Bell's in the box. And he's got a shot with the bases loaded. And they can really open up this game now with a big hit. Pitcher wants this big hit more than anyone. Just misses one and all. And taking a look here, the pitch types that he's thrown today that have yielded hits. But checking out this guy's changeup, it's been hit twice already. You know, it's interesting, the same pitch being hit twice. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. He has to back up for it, comes away with the out. That'll keep the Sox well, full. Well, they had to play perfectly right here, Gary. Great Number call 10. from the dugout to shift the defense toward left. And their catcher at the plate. Bases are loaded with two down. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. One run scores. And that's two runs. And he's in there. That makes three. Little warm-up action going in the ball. Well, that's a right-hander up in front. Well, they're going to wait for the right-handed hitter on deck to get announced. And then they'll probably make the move to the pen. And he pulls into second base. Good enough for three RBI. Number eight spot in the lineup. This is a potent offense on the field right now. Really dominating. Okay, these guys are really swinging the sticks. They came out ready to hit today. No question about that. Yeah, if you're the pitcher, though, it's more like somebody's got a stick and he's poking in the eye. Now swing and a shot towards second. Throws the first side is retired. Well, that's the kind of first inning you want. Big early runs. Texas is ahead. Four to nothing.
And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Here's the pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Now that he's ahead in the count here, Gary, I'm looking for him to go to the curveball and try to punch him out. Here's the pitch. It's headed for the middle. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. Oh, he's on board. There'll be a base hit there. Still no one out. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And, you know, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game, and that can be the difference in the outcome. And we're going to see Roberts here. That one sails high for a ball, 1 0. Well, he's a lot of confidence in his slider, even when he's behind in the count. So look for this 1 0 pitch possibly being a slider. Ready with a 1 0. Roberts makes contact. That'll be fouled off. Oh! That swung on, hit on the ground. The second, there's one. And two, they got both of them that time. Around the horn they go, and they rack up a couple of outs. That's a pitcher's best friend, but also a manager's best friend as they get the double play. Third baseman up. first he delivers swings lines this one back up the middle makes its way through for a single well you gotta love to see this guy get on base with two outs right here with that base hit now it's up to his teammates to figure out a way to get him across the plate Cox at the plate that fastball go by. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. That one swung on its line. And he'll step on the back. That'll do it. Well, they pick up a couple of hits in the inning, but do not score. So the shutout's still underway here at Rangers Ballpark in Army. And this afternoon, hitters, they're not going to have to worry too much about the shadows. Pretty much a cloudy day. Number 44 coming in now to pitch as they make the pitching swap. Hit hard to second. And he throws off the first to the out. What a way. Number 17. Now there's center fielder at the plate. Well, the Rangers started out their season in Arlington last year with a bang, winning their first seven home games. Most of them blowouts looking like a dominating team, and it was an indicator as how well the season would go. And here's the first one. Hit up the middle. Oh, off the pitcher. Wow, that was a hot shot, and he couldn't get out of the way. Oh, uh, you talk about a friend in need. They team up and get the, uh, wow. The Rangers were indeed a powerhouse of ballpark that's made for hitters and ground ball pitchers, and that's what they've been able to put together. Best home record in the American League, John. And that home field advantage carried over into the playoffs, too. They were 6-2 and two in the postseason at home, including all three games here in their win over the Tigers in the ALCS. Pitch on the way. There's contact. He drove it well. That one's grabbed. Side retired. Well, that's one way to keep your pitch count down. They wrap that inning up with three pitches. 
and the Mariners coming up next. And welcome to those of you just tuning in, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. And we've got Cruz batting. He's going to start the third here. Sliders in there for a called strike. This is where you want to go with the breaking ball, to the outside corner. Paint the black, get the call. The hitter gave up on it. He got the pitch he wanted. Don't strike at a fastball, and it's 0-2. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, one and two. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. The one-two pitch. A shot up the middle, and it's through. Base hit for Cruz. At now this pitch just cuts right Seattle over the heart of the plate. Your hitter handled it. Mm -hmm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Mendoza at the plate. Oh. Too far outside. One and zero. Oh. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. Oh, the pitch. Good looking fastball. Call the ball though. 2-1. Now the 2 1. Swings, pops it up, right side of the infield. That's one away. The plate for the Seattle North. Center fielder, number 12. And it rolls around to the top again. Ground out victim last time through. is at first. Now the first pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. And it drops in for a base hit. At the play, Seattle, the here's Seattle their shot right now. Left fielder. Well, a real Seven. solid approach Damn trying to work man. gap to gap up the middle of the field. Gets a fastball on the outer third of the plate, but able to stay on it and get himself a base hit to center. Yeah, we get Meyer batting. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. That's the second out. Got the, the outfield swung around to the right that time. He had a long way to go to run that one down. Number three slot up again here. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Here it comes. And it's fouled off. On the way. Here's a swing and a line drive. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. This is a great situation for some offense. Uh, oh, one mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. Clean up man in the box again. Steve, you're going to like the odds right here. You get that base hit, and all of a sudden, this game changes. Now, if he hits one over the ball, too, it completely changes the complexion of this game. They've had to battle back. Here's a chance to get the lead. Smash towards the middle, and that is in there. The tying run is on base. And Cruz comes in. At the plate, 
for this. Yeah, they pick up a run with a single here, Gary. The base is still loaded, so so much pressure on the pitcher. He just wants to keep it in the ballpark, see if he can't get out of this mess. And we're going to see Roberts here. They creep back into ball games when you're at this stage of it, and right now that's what they're doing. Two outs, base is loaded. First pitch to him. Roberts makes contact. That'll be fouled off. Oh! Plays off that fastball, and it's 0 and 2. Let's take a look here at how he's been mixing up his pitches so far in this game. Well, so far in this one, he's gone to that curve more so than he usually does with that pitch. Hit in the air to center field. And that one's put away to retire the side. They pick up four hits in the inning, but manage only one run. The Mariners, they are making progress. They've cut into this lead. And the first baseman in. Single and scored his last time around. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. First pitch, curveball. Swung out of miss. Going one. Pitchers have a plan of attack for every hitter. And the plan here is go slider early. Really nailed that one right through the middle of the infield. And his throw gets him. Number 32. Up again there, D.H. Had an RBI double his last time. Here's the pitch. Popped him up way up there near third base. That one's low. There was nothing worse than getting your pitch and just getting underneath it and popping out to short. Not going to be happy with that. Up again now, the number five spot. He singled his last trip. And the first pitch. Drill towards the hole. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit, and who knows what can happen after that. And Bell's in the box. Last time up, flew out. The first pitch. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And it's starting to head out towards the wall. He's thinking extra bases. Around third, he's going to try for it. He's in there. Wow, tremendous hustle all the way from first. Number 10. Beautiful swing right there, and I tell you, he's on his way to a great day already. Third RBI of this contest. Here's the first pick. Swing and a drive, deep left center. And that's going to do it in this half inning. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Texas leading by four. Looking to the lineup, six, seven, eight hitters on their way to the plate. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports.
Here's the pitch. That swung on and flied to right. And he'll put that one away. Cox at the plate. Let's take a look here and see what his approach is against these hitters on the first pitch. Talk about the importance of first pitch strikes. Well, this shows you here he's retired six hitters in this game after he's throwing a first pitch strike. And here's the first one. Swing and lined up the middle. And that gets through for a base hit. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. And we've got Cruz batting. He's one for one so far. Starts him out here. Swinging and a miss. And he falls behind on the count on one. Well, it's uh, keeping up with the hit trends in this one. Let's take a look at the pitches that he's thrown on the mound that have been put in play. We're looking at this guy's slider. That thing has been hit four times here. You know, it's a bit concerning how he's been hit when he's gone to that pitch. But you can't be too disappointed with how he's come out and pitched in this one. He's definitely given his team a chance to win. Here's a swing and a ground ball. That's one out. And a double play. They got a move. No runs. One hit. And no one left on base. Texas five. Seattle one. And the number eight spot rolls around. He'll lead it off here. Bottom half of the four. The pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. That's one away. Number one. In the box, their rookie second baseman. Rounded out his last time through. First pitch on the way. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. This one's going to be fielded by Roberts. As he drops back for it and puts it away. Number 17. Now there's center fielder at the plate. One for two in the ballgame. the first pitch on the ground to second Cruz throws on to first in time to retire the side amazingly fast inning uh, outs here coming quickly three pitches we're through four here at the ballpark Getting up to the plate for the Mendoza at the plate you'll get things started fifth inning Mario Mendoza First pitch to him. Hit up the middle. So he's aboard. Base hit. Nobody out. Well, a good start to this inning, but let's see if the guys behind him, after he starts out this inning with this single, can follow up and finish this inning off with some runs. And it rolls around to the top again. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the first one. Lined up the middle. And he's got it now. That's one. And a new set up of light. Execution on that 6-4-3. You have to have body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. And we get Meyer batting.
Here we go. Here's the first pitch. That's at the knees for a called strike. Here's the pitch. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No strikeout, but you talk about confidence. Four pitches, three batters gone. The Rangers maintain the advantage. Batters two through four coming right up. And a rather warm day to be out there on that field. You're going to sweat it out here in Texas today. It's Oliver at the plate. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0-1. That one hit pretty well, but uh, it goes foul oh. off to the right. Oh. And that's high, one and two. Well, good movement on the cutter there, but he's got to get the ball down in the zone. He can get hurt with hitters throwing it up there. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That one's fine. To the plate with a Texas Ranger, first base, number 20. Number three slot up again here. He bounced out his last time. And he starts him out. Swing and a line at the right center. And in there, he's two for three today. Well, with one out here and a guy on first base, the last thing you want to do is hit him to a double play. Let's see if he can stay away from that. In the box now, their rookie DH. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. Here's the delivery. 0 1 pitch is a cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0 and 2. Taking a bruise for his efforts. And the right fielder batting again. And with that hit by pitch, we saw there, Gary. Now two runners on base. And it's got to be in his mind a little bit right now that he's got to be careful, but he can't be afraid to pitch inside. Runners on first and second with one out. Now the first pitch. Oh! It's fouled away. And Steve, after hitting that batter, what he's done as a pitcher is. He's really set up an entirely different inning here. Well, that's right. It's a real opportunity for the hitter because he knows that maybe the pitcher won't come inside worried about hitting him. Look for something away and drive it. Oh! And he swings and hits this one foul. Fastball got him looking two down. Not much movement to speak of with 88 miles per hour. Number 25. Couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. Came right back with another fastball, John. But you see him go fastball, fastball like that, you know he has a lot of confidence in that here right now. And Bell's in the box. But Gary, he struggles with runners on base, so look for them to go right at him at the plate now. Here's the delivery. Head up the middle. Oh, that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. A moment here for Texas. Can they get it done? 
Well, an outstanding piece of hitting to load the bases. Picks up that single, and now the pressure mounts. Now their rookie catcher at the plate. And he'll be looking to pad the lead a bit here. When you get these kinds of opportunities, you have to capitalize on it to swing the bat. And the pitcher's really got to bear down now. And the first pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they pick up two hits in the inning, but leave the bases loaded. And the Mariners coming up next. Now batting for the Seattle Mariners. And the first baseman in. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. Pitch on the way. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. Well, now that he's in the hole and behind, I suspect we're going to see a heater coming in there. Line drive left oh. of the bag and foul. You're Big out. swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you. Get a better look. We well, just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Clean up man in the box again. In his rookie year now. First pitch on the way. Oh, and one. Called strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. This is the go to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Line shot into center field, and in there, three for three ball game. Now batting, well, anytime you're a hitter, you can get three hits in a game. Right you're going to see that average start eight. creeping up to where you want it to be, and he's on now with one out. And we're going to see Roberts here. He flew out his last time up. He delivers. Swung on. That is hit. It's scooped up. Over to second for one. And two. They pull off the double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. The Rangers maintain the advantage. Their shortstop in the box. 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch. On the ground to short. Mendoza. In time for the up. Number one. Up now, their second base blew out last time. Here's the pitch. This one hit and a long foul oh. ball down the left side. Ball. And he fouls another one off. Hey. Smack that one. He got it right up the middle. He's on the first two away. Number 17. Now there's center fielder at the plate. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. First pitch on the way. 
hit in the air to center field. And that one's put away to retire the side. No scoring here ending this half inning. Texas 5, Seattle 1. Now up to the plate. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Now the first pitch. On the ground to second. Number one. In time for the up to the plate for the Seattle Americans. Cox in the box now. One for two in the ball game. He deals. Swing, hot shot. He dives and gets it. Throws in time to first. What a play. A diving stop and a nice throw, too. I showed great range on that one. I didn't think he had any chance to get it, but they able to get it and get on his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Tremendous job. And we've got Cruz batting. He hit into a double play as last time. First pitch to him. Oh. Just missed with the fastball. One and oh. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning. And, you know, they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Oh. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind. Two and oh. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. That's it. Foul by Cruz. Foul! Oh. Two-one pitch. Oh. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's three and one. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. That one's pop sky high drifting towards third. This one to Bell. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. It's the kind of inning the defense likes three up three down. Stretch time in Arlington. It's Oliver at the plate. 0 for 3 to this point. Number 0, Al Oliver. The pitch. Hit in the air to left center. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. And this rolls all the way to the wall. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Number 20, Well, this could be a start of a great inning for these guys. You like to swing on this and good hustle also to get to second base. Now, still three out to go with a man in scoring position. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throw on the first in time. One away. Up again there, DH. They catch a little bit of a break here in a jam with runners on base, but... A guy who not typically is a very good hitter in this situation. One on, one out. The first pitch. Boy, he scorched that one. That was right over the mound. And a good throw gets him two down. He might have had a shot of getting the runner at third base, but much safer. Make the second out of the inning, get the out at first, and try to retire the next guy. Rookie right fielder stands in. A bit of a break here right now, Gary. The fact that there are runners on base, but this guy tends to struggle a little bit at the plate.
and he starts him out. Change up just misses. One and oh. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. A 1 0 -oh pitch. Oh. He fouls that one off. Here's the pitch. A swing line to left center. That's in there. Should score the runner. Take a look down there in the bullpen. They've been a lefty up the front. Well, I, I don't see him coming in just yet. I mean, with a, with a righty in the on deck circle, I don't think that's a matchup they want. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. And Bell's in the box. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is, this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder. Up. Well, as you can see, they're just pouring it on right now. They got out to an early lead, and the hits keep on coming, and so do the runs. And here's the first one. Taps this one foul oh. to the right. There's a swing, and that one's hit on the ground. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Rangers by five. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Mendoza at the plate. He singled in his last at bat. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Up the middle, number one. Over to first for out number one. And it rolls around to the top again. We get another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. And the first pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Well, Gary, it was one out right here. They still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Here it comes. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Fastball got him two down. You got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK. Two straight fastballs he still couldn't catch up with. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And we get Meyer batting, wearing the collar thus far. And here's the first one. There's a strike at the knees on one. Again, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You're, the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. Boy, that one is stung up the middle. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back. For the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and he took advantage of it. There's a throw over. Keeps him close at first. And here's the pitch. It's fouled off. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss at the fastball. No balls, two strikes. 
Well, he's a very defensive hitter when the count gets to 0-2, so I'm going to try to get him to chase something out of the zone. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. And here are the Rangers, bottom half of the eighth inning. Catcher up to the plate. He's driven home three in this one. They clearly have not figured out a way how to get this guy out. I mean, he is swinging the bat, driven in three runs already. Let's see if he can get some more. Here's the pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. And he gets that one down. His second hit. Two for four today. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. First guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. There's shortstop in the box. Ground out victim last time through. 0 for 3 to this point. And the first pitch. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. That one gets through for a base hit. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, this is not what you imagine when you go out to make a pitching change. You bring a guy in from out of the bullpen, and the first hitter he faces, he serves up a hit. Let's see if he can get out of this. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. Here's the first pitch. He swings and drives this one. One away. And that will keep the runners. They have to stay at first and second. Now their center fielder at plate. He flew out his last time up. And starts him out here. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. As he drops back and puts it away. With that, they'll hold the runners at first and second. They shifted the outfielders to the left. He hit it to left, and he's out. It's Oliver at the plate. Well, he gets a little bit of a break here in a jam with runners on base, but a guy who not typically is a very good hitter in this situation. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And that's through a base hit. And he's in there. Okay. Okay. Showing aggressiveness early in the count all over that hard oh, pitch. Yeah. Ripping the fastball to center. Number three slot up again here. Well, this offense is having one of those days. Wow, are they putting some numbers up. Well, Garrett, as you can see, this offense just keeps on rolling, keeps on producing. Why don't you keep on rolling, Garrett? And in this game, there's no such thing as piling on. You want to carry over. If you're hot now, keep it going. Here's the first pick. This one swung on and driven hard. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Well, they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. The Rangers just keep rolling along one of those days where they may be unstoppable. Clean up man in the box again. That was a perfect three for three in the ballgame. Here's the first one. Hot shot towards the hole. And his throw is in time. First out of the inning. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground and, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb and running out of time right now only two outs remaining so they've got to get something going and keep it going and we're going to see Roberts here he hit into a double play as last time
And here's the first one. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Uh, down to their final out right here, Gary. So, made it looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. Six slot up at the plate again. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. And the first pitch. Swing and a fly ball, and this might be it. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win in the shoulders of their pitchers. If we check out the highlight reel of our player of the game. But you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.